Hi everyone. This video walks through completing the first packet tracer assignment for Net125, which is the introduction to networks. Now, once you get logged into our class and complete the EVA and everything, you'll see chapter one open up. Now, under each assignment link, you'll notice there will be certain lab assignments to submit back to Moodle. Now, where do we get these files from? Well, if you return to chapter one, right below each assignment link, you will see a student data file folder. This is for chapter one. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna save it to my computer. You always wanna save it. It comes in a zip file. Now I'm gonna to navigate to my downloads folder and you should see your chapter one or whichever chapter files you are looking for. And I'm going to extract these files. You don't have to use 7-zip. You could just simply use Windows uh, Compression Utility to unzip it. Now I have my other folder. So I'm going to delete this one with the Z on it for the zip file. Or you may have a zipper symbol. So when I double click on this, I will see I have a PDF file which if I open it up are the exact same instructions that will be included in the lab. But these are for you if you do not like really reading off a computer. You can print these out. Uh, oftentimes I will uh, reference these instructions um, while I'm working through the lab. There will be a video for every regular lab assignment. The only uh, lab assignments I do not provide a video for are the challenges, the skills integration challenges, and those are uh, designed for you to really test your skills like a cumulative activity at the end of every chapter. So again, you can print these off for your benefit. Most of the time, unless I specifically say return or turn in the PDF file, you do not need to turn those in. But always look under the assignments link in Moodle and you'll see if you need to return the uh, PDF as well back to Moodle when you're done. So here I'm going to open up 1.2.4.5 when you need to make sure you have Packet Tracer 7.1 downloaded before you start this assignment. We will be working inside of Packet Tracer a lot this semester in every chapter to complete lab assignments. All right. It will ask you to log in before you get to this point. Make sure you log in with your username and password to the Cisco Networking Academy, not your Nash Community College login. So your, your Cisco Networking Academy login. If you don't have that information or need it reset, contact me and I can reset it for you. Now I'm going to have this on my screen so we can see both. All right. The Packet Tracer window over here, all right, to your left, is where all of your devices are. So right now, this is a very complicated layout. We are just starting, so don't let that overwhelm you. You do not need to know what every device does and how to operate it, how to configure it. This is just showing you the capabilities. So here, we've got this box here, and this is called like a home office. Packet Tracer shows you the logical layout, not the physical layout if that makes sense so like for instance the home in this home office here the laptop the home desktop the inkjet the wireless router here the tablet and the modem these are all real devices you may have in your home and they are operational connected to each other uh, packet tracer does not get out to the outside internet meaning it does not contact like google.com and stuff like that but you're testing connectivity to each device okay so here, uh, again, we have this home office. We have like a central office here. A physical layout would kind of show the relation of how far apart this home office, the central office, and then over here, the branch office actually were. But for the purpose of this lab, we don't really get that. So that is kind of the only shortcoming of Packet Tracer is you got to have to use your imagination just a little bit um, in those terms. For instance, here too, the branch office. 
This could be an office building, but all of these devices do not have to be in the same room, and most likely they're not. They don't even have to be on the same floor, right? So usually there are some type of wiring closet involved or something else. Um, but again, it does show you kind of the, the connectivity possibilities um, of configuring different devices. So it's great for that aspect of things. So we will be configuring switches, routers, end devices like smartphones, PCs. There's a ton of devices um, in Packet Tracer all down here at the bottom, whether it be end devices that you can actually add to your topology. Now this one's already set up, so we won't be adding things, but they've got laptops, they've got IP, voice over IP phones, smart TVs, uh, wireless laptops, all the things you can think about today. Um, they've got actual routers and switches to add. Um, you've got cabling. You can see each one of these are cabled, some are wireless. Um, so there's all different types of devices that you can add down here, even down to uh, like solar panels and wind detectors and wind turbines, all the stuff that actually can interact with each other. So it is a very neat program that is unique to the Cisco Network and Academy uh, curriculum. Um, so you want to identify some common components of a network as represented in Packet Tracer. You want to go through this first assignment. There's actually nothing to, uh, there's no completion. Usually down here at the bottom, there will be a completion bar that'll show you like 10 out of 60 or 10 out of 100 or whatever scale that they're grading on. And you can click check results and it will actually give you a step-by-step -step list of what it is grading and if it you if you have completed it correctly or not. Um, some activities are limited to what you can see, like for instance, uh, your skills integration challenges. A lot of the time they won't tell you exactly what is wrong. It'll just tell you like, hey, you've gotten a third of this lab completed, but something's not working because again, the challenges are after you've completed many labs like this one. So you want to go through here, explore many of your devices, explore the functionalities of uh, Packet Tracer, but there is nothing to submit back to me uh, except for just open this file, work through it, save it, and submit it back to Moodle. But there's no completion here because it's technically already completed. But I do want you to go through this because again, it is important for you um, moving forward. This is a great first foundational step. All right. So if you have any questions as you work your way through this lab assignment, please let me know.